Speaker. Ah, Louisa Wall. Tēnākui te mangai o te whare. Firstly, can I thank you, uh, because over the recess we were privileged to host Youth Parliament, and I would like to uh, extend my appreciations. I think all the young people that I've engaged with had a thoroughly good time, uh, and that was because of the management um, of the House. Um, can I also acknowledge that yesterday was the International Day of the World's Indigenous People, and so I mihi to all the Indigenous uh, communities around the world and the particular focus this year uh, on education. Um, today for me is going to be a lot of thank yous, uh, Mr Speaker. I'd also like to thank Dame Diane Robertson, who's moved on as the Auckland City Missioner. And in her place, we welcome Chris Farrelly. So I say kia kaha to Chris, uh, because one of the first uh, pieces of research that he has uh, contributed to the discussion around homelessness in our community uh, is a press release dated the 7th of June 2016. So between 2014 and 2016, we've had a 55 per cent increase in the number of homeless people in Auckland. These are those living within uh, three kilometres of Sky Tower. So in the last two years, uh, we've had an extra 81 people uh, who the City Mission, uh, with a whole lot of collaborators, have identified as homeless. Um, I uh, would also like this, to take this opportunity to congratulate um, Judge Andrew, Andrew Beecroft as our new Children's Commissioner. <clears throat> I think he started his tenure on an incredibly powerful platform. And what is that platform? That platform is actually uh, not only being an advocate uh, for children, but being an advocate in terms of enabling us as a society, as New Zealanders, to contribute and to participate in what is a very, very important discussion. Should the Ministry for Children be the Ministry for Vulnerable Children, which is incredibly stigmatising, or should it actually be a ministry that's going to provide for the needs and aspirations, not only of our children, but our, of our whanau? And I leave you with this. Vulnerable means to be exposed to harm, whether they be physical or emotional. And so if the minister and that government want to tar children uh, who are going to use the services of this new children's ministry with that term vulnerable, then uh, let, them, uh, let them address all the exposures to harm, both emotional and physical, to ensure that our children actually grow up in an environment where they can thrive. And I agree with um, our Children's Commissioner that by labelling them as vulnerable is not the best way to start that journey or that process. Can I also thank Te Pui and Marae, who over their 10 weeks of opening have provided uh, accommodation to 156 people. And included in those people, uh, Mr Speaker, have been 83 children. And so Te Pui and Marae have acted as, a, I guess, a conduit between those who are living on the streets, living in, at the Marae, to now having accommodation. And so I want to mihi to all the leadership at Te Pui and Marae for actually putting their hand up and saying, we care. And we care enough to assist whānau uh, who are in crisis and then actually follow through and make sure they have somewhere to live. 19 people still live there, Mr Speaker, and the Marae will continue to support those people until they all find accommodation. And they've now passed the baton on to my Marae, Manurewa Marae, who on Monday from 9.30am will take registrations. And they have the capacity to provide for 146 people, and in addition to that, they have, they have got five portacoms, homes that are for women and children. I don't know if the government is funding them. I've got no idea, but I would hope that they are, because an initiative like this that's community-driven deserves to be supported by any reasonable, caring, compassionate government. Uh, our um, marae will be serviced by volunteers, and I want to mihi to Rowandale School in my electorate. They have put their hand up because they will be there on a roster. They need people who can provide breakfast, lunch and dinner. And so to our whānau and communities throughout South Auckland who care enough not to just talk about things but to actually do things, I want to acknowledge your leadership and say thank you on behalf of this parliament for doing something to meet the needs of those most vulnerable and to say thank you uh, for continuing, I think, to ensure that no one is left behind. Kia ora tato.